Hey guys, it's John, the uh, small town, small time reseller, and I uh, did something, it was a great, but then I did something kind of dumb. I sold a book today. I know! And so I boxed it up, and I wrapped it in bubble wrap, and, and they, I, and it's, it's right here. And I'm reusing an old uh, Amazon box, you know, and uh I, I don't even know if I should be doing the video because I can't show you the book. I could unbox it. I just don't want to. And I know that nobody's watching these. And so I'm just going to... So anyways, I sold this book, which is The Overstory by John by uh, Richard Powers. And um, it's a first edition. I bought it at a half price bookstore for like six or seven dollars. I read it, didn't even like it that much. But then I uh, started looking up and I realized that I believe it won the Pulitzer Prize for literature and so then became pretty big and quite valuable. And uh, I had it listed for $450 for a long time, dropped it to $425. Um, and so today I got an offer for 250. I've gotten a few offers before and everyone nobody really wanted to come up up with that. And I thought looking at what are the ones that were the one or two that are also on eBay, looking at A books, Biblio, different places like that. And I'm thinking I've got mine priced below that. So I had it at 425, he offered 250. I countered at 390. And then he came back at 300 so I was pretty happy about that. Then, okay, this guy's coming up. Um, because, like, someone in the past had given me 225 and then I came down, like, 400 and they came up to, like, 230 And I'm like, well, no. But this guy sent this message with a $300 offer and said, you know, thanks you for, for considering my offer. I'm not trying to lowball you. I just am working with a budget. Hope we can work it out. So I came back to him. Lowered my price to 350 and I said, looking at eBay and everywhere else, I really think 350 is a good price. And just like you're not trying to lowball me, I'm not trying to stick it to you. I'm just trying to get as much as I can for the book. And so uh, I said, if 350 if you come up to that, it's yours. And he accepted. And, uh, and <laughs> you know, after you get the accept, they accept, they pay, then you've got the shipping address. And I'm always kind of curious. So I Google Earth his address. So he lives in this multi-million dollar home in Nevada. And I thought, okay, you're working with a budget, but it's not a budget of hundreds of dollars. It's it's a little you didn't have to, you probably could have given me my asking price, but that's also probably why he's a multi-millionaire, because he's a good businessman. I'm very happy with getting three hundred and fifty dollars for a book that I paid probably six or seven dollars for at half price books. Um, and so I, I boxed it up, I put the, you know, packing slip in, I got the, the shipping label, I even went into town to the post office, but my local post office closes at 4.30, got to like 4.35, so I'm going to actually ship it out tomorrow, um, but I didn't want to un, undo my beautiful taping job here, hoping it gets there good, you know, I've got some packing peanuts and a bunch of bubble wrap. And um, so that was it. So that's my story for today. Um, and next time, I'm, this is such a new channel for me that I just didn't even think about recording before I boxed it. So obviously, next time, I will be doing that. So I hope that you didn't just, you know. And then I, I was talking to my son, and he's like, well, you know, but we're not going to believe you. I was like, well, who? I'm not, <laughs> I'm not <laughs> trying to. To lie to anybody um so you know i think he's the only one that actually ever has even subscribed to the channel so subscribe to my channel and uh like the video and subscribe and next time i sell something i promise you i'll record it before i box it up but uh that's my story for today and uh that's the most expensive thing i've ever sold 350 dollars i'm pretty happy about that um, and so I will, uh, you know, I'll, I'll hopefully be seeing you soon. I think I'm going to try to hit some garage sales this weekend, get a little 
stuff for to put up on on the site and um we'll see how it goes but uh thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for liking and uh hopefully we see you soon bye, -bye.